Welcome, everybody. I'm so glad that you are here. This has been a perfect week for drawing cats, inspired by two cats that I adore, Hades, that lives with my daughter, and my parents' cat named Squeaks. I had a lot of fun drawing a bunch of different cats and some cat accessories. I drew each cat with a little different personality and used a little different technique. For the first cat, I like to start with the big eyes, those big dewy eyes that look so cute, placed far apart on the cat's face. And I gave him a cute little button nose and a big smile. His perky ears come right out of the top of his wide forehead. And he has rounded cheeks that are a little bit chubby and a pointed chin. His back paws are two little circles sticking out right next to his front paws. The toes are delineated with short little lines and his tail just peeks up from behind him. This next cat was inspired by cats that are purring in their sleep and I made her with just a few lines. One line goes all the way around her head and then one for her leg and another line makes the other front leg and comes all the way around the body creating a tail. It was fun to draw this cat reading a book sitting down with his back paws sticking up and so we could see the bottom of his paws and the pads on his feet. He has very pointy ears and a very round head. His eyes are wider and they have the very middle cat shaped part and he looks really intent as he is reading his book. After drawing a fish for decoration, I chose to draw a cat peeking over the edge of the paper and she is very sweet and simple with just a few little lines and dots for the eyes and nose. For the side view of the cat that's walking, I have the eyelid showing on the eye and the snout with a smile sticking out a little from the round head and pointed ears. The face is completed with whiskers and spots. This cat has the tail forward like it's going for dinner and I made sure that the paws had a little bend forward at the front. I added a yummy chicken leg for a snack. I made big round eyes with tall pupils for the cat that I have peeking up over the bottom of the paper saying a hello to you. His mouth is right in the middle of conversation and he has pointy ears and his little head comes down and his shoulders just peek up over the edge. The final cat features tall eyes and very pointy ears as it lays down on the side of the paper. Some of my favorite furry feline friends lay down this way and flick their tail when they are ready for some fun. The nose, mouth, and whiskers coming right off the edge of the cheeks complete this kitty and give it a curious look. I hope you enjoyed watching or drawing along with me for different types of cats, and I'd love to hear about some of the details that you like to include when you draw cats. Until next time, I hope you have a perfectly fabulous week.